Hello, my name is Gary Butler. I work for the Sage 200 Support Consultants. Today, we're looking at Sage 200, where you raise a purchase order and produce an invoice, but the invoice hasn't hit the purchase ledger, where to go to look for it and how to push it through when you find it. So there may be times when a supplier chases for payment for an invoice, but you can't find the invoice in the system. You know the order is complete, but you just can't find where the invoice is. This is a bit of a hint to find failed invoice posts on Sage 200. So if, for example, if someone closes out the form or there's a crash, what they're recording the invoice, it may not show the invoice on the system. So if we go to the order, so on the system here, I've got an order that's complete that I know the invoices uh, should be showing. If we go into view and view item, then go to the invoices button at the bottom. You can see here there's no invoice number, which means there's been a problem when it's been posting because normally it won't let you save the invoice without an invoice number because it has to have an invoice number. So we can see here the price is 104.99 and the gross is 125.99. So we know the invoice isn't posted because it hasn't been on the ledgers. We know that it's on the purchase order, it hasn't got an invoice number. So what can we do? So we will come out of the purchase order processing, and go into purchase ledger. Then we'll go into the enter transactions. In here, you've got batch transactions and batch transactions manager. Batch transactions manager is for usually like a line manager. So they can see everybody, everybody's transactions that may have hit this area. And batch transactions is just for yourself. If we go into batch transactions, what we can do in here is see that we've got a missing amount. So if we look in here, we can see our invoice values. Looking at this invoice, we know this is our uh, our invoice. So we can have a look and make sure everything's correct. And then we can put in our reference number for the invoice and any other second reference. save it now we have a look at the values everything looks correct we can now use the commit button when we commit the batch and then post it to the account like so and takes it off the list so now when we go to our supplier we can select the supplier on the list and we can find our invoice there that was missing Sometimes when you go into this option, it gives you an error message that the batch transactions is not enabled. So basically, you need to make sure that allow batch processing is turned on. If I turn it off, try again, it says the option is not enabled. So if that's not enabled, within your ledger settings, you need to tick allow batch processing now, if you've come in here for the first time and there's a list of invoices, what you'll need to do is check to make sure that nobody has posted the invoices on this list manually because I didn't know it, this, this area existed. Um, just have to be sure if you find something on the list that you've already got posted, you can use the delete button to delete it out of this list to save doubling up and, and your values itself. So today we covered the missing postings of the purchase invoice from the purchase order processing. Um, so please like this video if you enjoyed the content, subscribe, um, and please check out our website. Um, if you subscribe, you'll check out our regular updates of the content. Uh, thank you very much and see you next time.